Hi students, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and uh, today we will start discussion on uh, another subject which is system analysis and design. Why we need to learn this subject? So this system analysis and design subject mainly deals with the activities that are involved in development of any software. So if you want to develop any software then there are some set of activities that you need to follow for developing that software okay and every software development company used to follow all these activities okay so all these activities we will be going to see in this subject so if you guys think that software development is just like a matter of developing or completing the development of a software within days or weeks then it's not right Okay, so software development team has to follow these various activities for developing any software and those activities are gathering data or collecting data from the clients and then making proper analysis on the data and then designing a complete structure of that software and then writing the code for developing that software which is implementation and then next step is testing and then the next step is installing the software on client side and the last one is maintenance okay so all these activities has to be carried out in software development industry for developing any software okay so all these activities will be going to cover in this subject of system analysis and design okay so i'm sure by now you guys are clear about why we are learning this subject okay so now here you can see i have listed down some points so now the first point says to solve a problem yes the problem here is that we want to develop a software we will be having some set of requirements which we had collected from the customer and we have to make a software for those requirements okay so for making a solution for those requirements we will use this approach of system analysis and design okay so this subject provides us a way of solving a problem this subject teaches us how you need to design a software how you need to get the data and design the software and then how what would be your approach behind developing the software okay so this system analysis and design subject is used for solving the problem next it's an organized way of solving the problem so why this subject is saying that the system analysis and design is an organized way of solving a problem because we have some predefined activities we have some rules and regulations to follow okay if we try to develop the software with all these activities then we surely ended up with a good software okay so our work is now organized we have some activities and we know what we have to do for solving that problem okay so that is why it is been called as organized way of solving the problem now the next point is discuss software development activities okay so this subject is all about discussing software development activities now we, i told you just a few minutes earlier that in this subject we will discuss everything about various activities of developing the software okay so i'm sure you guys understood what is system analysis and design and why we are learning this subject okay now uh, let us first try to understand what is the meaning of system here okay so as uh, the first very first word in this subject is system okay now whenever you think about system a system can be anything okay and there are many systems present in this world a system uh, can be a natural system or there can be an man-made systems okay and here you can see i have written down the examples for natural systems a system can be a solar system a system can be a geological system a system can be a molecular system so these are the various examples of natural systems and here we have examples for man made systems transportation system communication system manufacturing system okay so with these examples what you come to know okay we understood that 
a system will be formed whenever more than one subsystems when more than one people when a combination of people and systems or computers work together to achieve a common task okay here you can see if we take an example of this transportation system so do you guys think only one person can manage this transportation system no okay so for this transportation system to work properly there might be some n number of people involved there might be some machinery involved which they will use to make this system work properly okay and there is a communication system and in this system as well you can see here many people work together to achieve the task and here manufacturing system here as well it's all about taking people together to achieve the objective so a system means where group of people working together to achieve a objective or to achieve a common task okay so that is what the meaning of system okay but what is the meaning of system in this context so in the context of our subject what do you think system okay so in the context of this subject the system is an automated system a system is a software application which will help the users to automate the task okay we can consider any software okay microsoft office it's a software and we can call that software as a system okay any application which you use on your daily basis to automate your task to complete your task can be called it as a system okay so now uh, a system we can define a system in many ways okay uh, in the book as well you might get many definitions for a system so a system is something which takes input from the user process it and provides you the output okay or a system can also be defined as it's a collection of various subsystems integrated together to achieve a common task okay so like this you can make many definitions for any system if we take this definition uh, for a system then we have many systems around us okay uh, an atm machine an atm machine is also a system okay and we have human resource management system okay uh, and library management system railway ticket reservation system okay and then flights booking system okay so what's going on in all these systems okay all these systems are helping the users to automate the task to reduce the day to day task okay so i'm sure now you guys understood what is system and the types of systems natural systems and man made systems and then uh, we here i have written a simple point as purpose of system okay so what is the purpose of system systems always designed to solve a problem okay and then uh, next we will discuss various characteristics of system okay so we have various characteristics of a system and those are organization and then second one is interaction third one is interdependence fourth one is integration and the fifth one is central objective okay so now let us uh, now let us try to understand these characteristics one by one okay now we will first see the first characteristic which is organization okay so this organization deals with the architecture of the system how you are going to develop your system what is the design of your system what is the outer architecture of your system and how your system is interacting with other components okay exactly the same way uh, before developing any building engineer engineer will make the blueprint of that building and with that blueprint people will come to know what would be the structure of that building what type of material they will be going to use in that building and uh, how much will be the number of floors in that building where there will be uh, making a place for lift okay so how they will be going to make arrangement for various rooms okay all those things will come to know with that blueprint exactly the same way as how 
you are organizing your system okay uh, so that is everything about organization uh, now the next characteristic is interaction okay so this interaction characteristic deals with the communication between the system and the user um, how the various users will going to use the system okay what are the various operations you will be including in the system so that user can interact with the system okay and you need to also take care of those operations has to be as much easy as possible okay so all these things comes under this interaction characteristic okay so for displaying those interaction between the user and the system there are various uh, techniques available such as uh, uh, data flow diagram use case diagram interaction diagram sequence diagram state transition diagram so with all these various types of tools and diagrams we can easily represent the interaction between the user and the system okay so all those things will be going to uh, cover in our next lessons okay now the fourth characteristic is integration okay so as i have already told you when i was explaining the definition of a system a system is a collection of various subsystems where various other modules have combined together to make it a larger system okay so the first one, one of the characteristic of system is integration integration means where various subsystems where various modules have come together to make a larger system and that is what we used to see in software side if you take an example of ms office okay so ms office is a package in that package you have various applications like ms excel powerpoint excel access okay so all these applications have integrated together to make a larger software of microsoft office okay and now then uh, last characteristic is central objective okay so this central objective tells you the reason or the purpose behind developing the software that you need to have in your mind okay every system will have a purpose behind it okay and developers have to develop the software for achieving that objective okay that objective should not be forgotten during the development of any software development team has to keep the objective in their mind while performing each and every activities of system development starting from uh, information gathering till installation and maintenance okay so this is everything about uh, uh, an introduction of system analysis and design subject okay and uh, we saw a small discussion on system and we also discuss the characteristics of system okay so i'm sure you guys understood why and what is the reason of studying this subject okay and this is a very important subject because this subject will teach you how you need to design and develop the software okay so uh, with this i'm going to uh, complete this lesson i hope all of you understood what is the purpose of studying this subject and what is the explanation for all these concepts okay uh, so i will see you guys in my next lesson and thanks for watching